facing more cold and snow in the coming months, that's for sure. Yeah, but you don't have to give up on your fitness routine because Taylor Bidmeen is a manager at Fitness Together in Rocky Hill. And you're here with some workouts. I mean, I'm already feeling like this. Like, I just don't want to go outside. Well, who wants to go outside cold. today? I don't want to go outside. But we can really still be effective. It may not be your awesome run that you're getting at the park, but you can do really effective things inside the house. Yeah, you can work your muscles without using any of the equipment. Okay. So we call that isometric exercise. I was just doing some isometric exercise. I can't even say it. <laughs> no, I was not doing that. All right, so what's the first what, what, What's the first thing we should so be doing? So a great exercise that you can do at home is a plank to work your core. I can do a plank. Uh, do yeah. A plank. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, let's see it. Let's right, see. That's a picture of a plank, and Scott's yes. going to try and do it right now. All right. Um, wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice. I think uh, don't you, you can't have a curve though, right? Mm, yeah, I wasn't going to climb up. We're going to talk about. <laughs> I only know because Taylor core. teaches our station oh, boot camps yeah. here, and she always comes around saying you have to lift your hips back up. Yes, That's really pull tough. Your pelvis up towards your rib cage. Make a straight line out of your belly button. All right. okay. There you go. Perfect. All I right. actually am in pants today. And what does this it? do for you? You can do the squat if you want. What so is right this now actually? you're actually working everything in your shoulder blades to keep your spine nice and level. Okay. You're holding your hips up by tucking through your core. So you're working your obliques and all of your transverse and upper abdominal area. This is ridiculous. Give me, give me so you're five. Also, That's another thing we do. You're also working the backside of your legs <laughs> by holding. <laughs> okay. Scott needs to come to boot camp. I know. Boot camp, and then you got to do. All right, so you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> and so even, in, even right? in a suit and heels and tie, you could do that. But how long would you hold it to get effect, to just really know that you did something? Until you start feeling your muscles tremble. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to start to get weak and they're going to start to give up. We call that fatigue. Uh -huh. But the beauty of an isometric hold is you're holding that weight against gravity. So the length that you can hold it is really independent and up to you. Okay. But the muscles are going to start to fatigue. They'll start to shake and then until they completely give up. What's a wall set? So a wall set is when you use a flat surface and you come down like you're sitting in a chair oh, and you again need... you want to get that pelvic tuck in there to include your but thighs you lean but you're against, the wall? against the wall yep. okay. and you're actually going to work your um, quads, you're going to work your hamstrings you're going to use a lot of flexibility in your knees to get lubrication in the joint of your knees and you're pushing back onto the wall by tucking through your core as well to get your inner thighs Banded and that's, re that's really good for like even if you're at the office you say just that'll get everyone in circulation if you have sit, yeah. go, go, go against the wall after you've been sitting all day. Mm -hmm. Wake up the core muscles. Hold yourself nice and stable. Banded bicep curl holds. Yeah, so if you have rubber bands at home, um, any kind of bands that you may use, a really great way to use it for an isometric is to use the motion that you're going to do. Like if you're doing a bicep curl, you're going to pull into that bicep curl and then just hold it there. Okay. Okay, and when you're holding, you're holding the resistance from pulling back. We're talking about the athletic bands, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. Definitely. Okay. okay. So holding that till fatigue. And you can do some pull-up holds. Yeah, so a lot of people have those um, pull-up bars yeah. inside. So if pulling up is very difficult for you, something that you can do to help you build up to your pull-up is if you have something that you can step on, step on up, pull yourself up, and see how long you can hold in that pull-up position. And that's a great isometric hold. Okay. okay. Very good. Pull-ups are really hard. Yeah. <laughs> I, my my pull-up bar is now my clothes rack. <laughs> All right, we'll to learn to more about that. training at Fitness Together, you can visit uh, fitnesstogether.com slash Rocky Hill. The studio is located on New Britain Ave in Rocky Hill. Thanks, Taylor. We always yeah, appreciate you coming in. Thank you so much for having me.